Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Eating Myself Smallish. This is going to be one of my cooking videos. Not a how-to, not a, a follow-along. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm trying to learn as I go. Um, are there any hard, fast rules to ratatouille? I've never had it. I've never made it. Uh, eggplant is pretty new to me, so why not? Uh, I'll be cooking this tonight and it'll be for dinner tomorrow. Supposedly it's much better after sitting a day. I find that to be true with most things. The dogs are playing. Uh, so I'll show you my ingredients and um, maybe get started. Okay, so this is very simply what I have. I've got some red bell pepper, onion, garlic, a zucchini, and an eggplant. I was not very pleased with the uh, selection of tomatoes at the store, so I just got a can of diced. Uh, I have looked at about three different recipes trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Uh, one of them had lentils in it, so I pulled out the lentils because I like lentils, and these are, uh, I'm 100% positive, the wrong kind of lentils for any type of stew, but um, I like them, so... Uh, all right, I'm gonna chop this up. Okay, hopefully you can see. Um, I started chopping the um, zucchini. I was like, hey, you wanna actually record this since you're doing a cooking video and you know, maybe some shots of you handling the food. Like, this is supposed to be diced and it's definitely not diced. So I, I, I'm gonna promise myself not to care when I eat it. Try not to care, Amanda. All right, I'm trying to do better um, with this, but you know, I'm already through the damn zucchini at this point. Okay, and I don't know if you're supposed to peel this or not. Some places say yes, some places say no. Some say, you know, if it's older, then yes. I don't know how old it is. I didn't ID it when I picked it up from the store. So, the thing feels so weird. This is one of those things that's supposed to feel lighter than it looks, right? There you go. Y'all watch that for me. Thank you. Oh, that cuts neat. This feels so spongy and strange. I am gonna cook um, everything separate. I say that, I say that, and if anybody has ever watched any of my videos, first off, I'm sorry, I'm still very new and very crap at this, um, but I'm nothing if I'm not all about overstuffing my pan. I'm just trying to make sense of a recipe world that makes no sense, and probably because I don't follow them. If I followed and learned, maybe they would make more sense. This is not as, I mean... It feels like I need to pour or, or like squeeze lemon over this in salt and leave it for a minute. Now I'm very limited with my experience on eggplant, but the one time I did use it, um, I put it in a stew and I wasn't a big huge fan of the flavor of it. Um, like it did take on the flavors of the stew, but it kept its own flavor. Um, I decided to try it raw because I suspected it had kept its own flavor, but I'd never tried it raw until just that moment. It's like a marshmallow cucumber. Um, yeah, it's like a marshmallow cucumber. That is very strange. Okay, <laughs> and where I was going with that thought was, um, if I salted and, um, spritzed it with lemon I don't know how much of that flavor it would absorb and how well that would blend with everything else I am probably very likely overthinking it this looks like a freaking lot <laughs> I feel like I say that a lot I think we're gonna be a little smarter about this you know Maybe not the smartest, but a little bit smarter than what I was being, so. I'm gonna blame this on the fact that I'm filming while I'm cutting. 
and I'm nervous and that's why this is kind of all strange and idea. This is fine. This is good. This is all right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. 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 Two of the recipes I looked at like wanted two of these damn things. Surely they're smaller over in France or wherever they wrote that recipe because like some of it had metric and they were calling them calling the squash and the eggplant by its fancy French name. So I don't know. Maybe they're just maybe this is just my Americanized hormone fed um, eggplant. I say this like I have any comprehension of how much is going to come out at the end of anything I'm cooking. <laughs> I am so bad. Okay, and I like how I said I was going to cook these separately and I was sure to mush them up together, wasn't I? Are you just going to end up cooking them together, Amanda? Is that what you're... Oh, man. My God. You're just going to end up cooking them together, aren't you? No. salt and lemon <laughs> it's, it's like calling me but I'm not gonna do it I'm actually gonna try to I say stick close to the recipe it's three recipes that I'm kind of going by memory on um <laughs> I thought I was done with this and I looked over and I saw like big huge chunks so I don't know whatever whatever all right I'm gonna leave that alone when you're making something with as recognizable a name as ratatouille that there are like some sacred rules or something that you're supposed to follow that I know nothing about. I feel like I, I could genuinely upset somebody with this video and I don't mean to. So y'all don't, if anybody ever happens to find this and you're a Ratatouille expert, or you've got a great recipe, please share it with me. Uh, constructive criticism is welcome, <laughs> but don't come for me, please. Okay, I'm definitely not going to be able to um, just stuff my pan. These are too drastically different in size and cooking times. Um, okay, I didn't go with fresh herbs on this. I just went with dried. There's oregano, basil. I put a little bit of cayenne pepper. There is coriander. Um, let's see, oregano, pepper, coriander. I need to put some basil. I put some cayenne. And I put some black pepper. That's about it. That's look like enough to season everything and lentils. We'll find out. Oops, sorry. Um, one of the recipes suggested carrots. Okay, I'm heating up some oil. This is a pretty big pan, um, as you can see. So there should be plenty of room for everything that I need without crowding my pan. So. Maybe I can cook this in a little bit different order than what I had first anticipated. First up is gonna be the onion and the carrot. Um, and apparently the bell pepper as well. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to add the eggplants and the zucchini. I couldn't help myself. I just put the seasonings in, that looks pretty good. Smells kind of, smells like eggplant taste. And I'm not sure how I feel about that yet. Okay, I added the tomatoes. I'll let that cook for a little bit. And then I put in the lentils and then I put in about two cups of water. I'm gonna let this cook, let the lentils cook, let this get nice and thick. And we'll see what we've got. And I'm, I'm pretty impressed with my, myself and my delusion that I thought I was actually going to cook vegetables separately from each other. That never happens. I don't know why I thought this would be any different. Okay, my friends, this is my um, interpretation <laughs> uh, inspired by loosely based on true events. Um, ratatouille <laughs> and here's me changing my mind again yeah I'm gonna try it tonight uh, it's Wednesday night and we will probably have this Thursday night unless this is a total bust and then on my check-in video 
that I'll put up on Sunday, you will see uh, something else for, th for Thursday dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for spending time with me. I appreciate it. If you have any suggestions, any feedback on the video, how I'm filming it, how I'm doing it, the information I'm sharing, um, anything like that, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, please like, um, subscribe if you want to follow along with me on this journey. Uh, that would be great. The more the merrier. And I will see you guys on Sunday when we do our check-in. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs>